Hi, I'm Brian from Syntex Technologies. In today's SQL Payroll System tutorial, we will start with how to install SQL Payroll System. The first thing is you need to purchase the software and get the installer from your dealer. After getting the installer, what you can do is just double click on the installer, click on run, click on I accept the agreement, click next, and the original path is like this. What you should do is you need to take out the program files 86. The reason being is inside program files, sometimes Windows may think that this is a virus, so it will block certain files. So that's why normally we will advise customer to direct install under C drive, eStream, SQL Payroll. So if OK, click Next. And you can see that all these three folders is at the same directory, but the folder name is different. Bin folder is bin, share folder is share, database folder is DB, but everything is under C, eStream, SQL Payroll. So this is easier for you to do control. Then click Next. The create a desktop icon is already taken. Click Next, Install. So the installation would be very fast. After the installation, what you need to do is you create a testing company or we call it sample company. Click finish. Then the system will ask you whether you want to create an evaluation copy or custom setting. If you are using single user or you are installing under the server in a network environment, then you should choose evaluation. If you are installed in a network environment and for client PC, then you may choose custom setting, which you do not need a sample company, it's direct link to the server. So let's click on evaluations. Even you install for client, you click evaluations, no problems. It just will create a sample database for first time user. So this is what I mentioned the testing company with sample data for you to play around and see how all the functions work without affecting your actual data. Testing company. So now this is the shortcut. You double click on the shortcut. Then this is what we call login screen. Now one thing is important is you need to know what is your versions. So at login screen, there is a set of number. The last three digit is your version one four. So sometimes when you have facing problems, we always encourage user to upgrade to the latest version. Not just because of solving problem, but maybe there is changes under statutory of government requirements. There is a change of PCB or SOCSAW and things like that. You need to upgrade to the latest version then only those uh, statutory requirement is inside the versions. If you are using a very old versions, then those calculations may not be accurate. So remember, always use the latest version. The same things apply to SQL accounting. Now, this is where you can select the company. Now you only have one testing company. First time user, username is admin, password is also admin. So after click on admin, then log in. And you can see this is the testing company with sample data. Okay, so this is how you install the software. If you are interested in SQL Payroll, do contact me. And once again, thank you for watching. And I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.